Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about the Ace 23 Assault Rifle in Battlefield 4 and why it's the best gun in the game. Now you might be asking, well Battlefield 4 has been out for a while, why is this video just coming now? I've done videos on a lot of other weapons in the game and I haven't yet talked about this one, mostly because I wanted the information trickle of how good this gun is to come out at a slower rate. A lot of other people got the videos out there quickly, so there's certainly a lot of people using the Ace 23 right now. But uh, it's, it's kind of come time to discuss why the Ace 23 is the best gun in Battlefield 4. And I'm sure many of you are saying, well, it's not the best extreme long range gun. No, you know, you can do a lot better with a bolt action snipe rifle at extreme ranges versus the Ace 23. And for close quarters, you know, you might actually prefer a machine gun like the MG4 uh, or the M249. But for all purpose weaponry, some gun that is going to basically excel in pretty much any situation, that's where the Ace 23 comes in. And I've talked about adaptability, versatility in lots of my previous videos, and it pretty much holds true for first person shooters. You need a gun that can adapt to any situation and be the best combination of everything in order to get that title of uh, the most useful, the most versatile weapon. Now, something that a lot of people don't take into consideration when thinking about what makes a gun better than other guns is map design. You might be thinking, well, why does the map really matter? A gun is a gun. It should work independently from the maps, right? Well, yes, except that engagement distances are determined by map layout. If there's a lot of big open area and little cover, then the engagement distances are probably going to be very long range and extreme close quarters. So you're not going to have a lot of medium range, in which case assault rifles might not be the best weapons in the game. You might be better off with much longer range, say bolt action snipers or DMRs. And for extreme close quarters, a pump action shotgun would probably suit you just fine. But because of the map design in Battlefield 4, and I'm not saying it's bad, I actually like the map design, I think it's great, but it seems to cater to medium range engagement distances with a little bit of long range here, a little bit of close, qu close quarters there. And uh, when, you, when you're looking for a gun that can suit all of these situations well, but is the best at medium range and then decent at the other two, that's where the Ace 23 really shines. Let's start off with the most important stat on this weapon, the rate of fire, 770 rounds per minute. Not quite 800, so you're gonna get beat out by some of those lighter machine guns out there. You're gonna get beat out by the AEK and FAMAS, win in close quarters. Now, this only applies to extreme close quarters because if you have a crazy high rate of fire weapon but the recoil's too extreme and you're just missing a lot of your shots, then the rate of fire is not as important for long range engagements. It's extremely important for close quarters. Now, 770 is good. It's not the best thing ever, but it's fast enough to drop people very quickly and when you combine 770 rounds per minute with an extremely low recoil, I shouldn't say extremely low, but an extremely manageable recoil then you get a weapon that's going to be controllable at pretty much any range with a very good rate of fire again not the best rate of fire but very good and when combined with controllability and accuracy you're gonna have a weapon that excels at those medium ranges the bullet velocity is 620 meters per second meaning you're gonna be able to hit moving targets and targets at range without any trouble at all you're not really gonna have to lead for them uh, the reload speed at 2.1 seconds is actually very competitive. Now, it's not quite as fast as, say, the M416, which is a 1.85 second reload. And those reload times are very important for close quarter combat and not getting caught in the middle of a reload. But again, 2.1 seconds is very competitive. It's not the best out there. You will run into a little bit of trouble if you do burn through your entire magazine and hit that long reload time of 3.1 seconds. That can be a little bit of a doozy if you're in a uh, close quarter intense combat situation. Situation. So you want to try and not run out of all your ammo unless you feel like you're uh, behind some pretty good cover and you can spare that time. Over on the right we have .2 for aiming down sight accuracy which is average for an assault rifle except that assault rifles have the best accuracy for any fully automatic weapons in the game. They beat out carbines, they beat out light machine guns, they beat out PDWs. So even though it's average for an assault rifle it's still very accurate as a weapon overall. So, so far this video, you've probably heard the words, you know, average, not the best. Uh, it's not quite as good as, and you might be thinking, how is the Ace 23 the best gun in the game if uh, it's not beating out a lot of weapons in its overall stats? In fact, 
None of its individual stats are better than any other gun in the game, but combined together, it has the best grouping of all these stats, making it just such a darn accurate weapon at medium range engagements, and the rate of fire combined with its accuracy is one of the best in the game. Now, there's a lot of people that prefer the AEK over there, and the AEK is a great weapon. It just sort of shifts your average effective range up a bit, so it might take your effectiveness up, say, 10 meters closer than the Ace-23 is capable of, and I guess it could depend what map you're playing on. Also, the AEK has a slightly longer reload time than the Ace-23, so there's some trade-offs here and there and it's certainly a debatable subject I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that actually do prefer the AEK instead of the ace 23 but overall I would say that the ace 23 is more versatile and it's easier to use which is honestly a really big bonus and once you have it set up with a stubby grip and a muzzle brake or the way that you like to set it up but personally that's the way I like to run it then you're gonna have a weapon that's just shoots such tight groupings with very very little recoil Again, um, my tutorials or my guides are mostly based on PC playing and I know you can control recoil on consoles but I gotta say from my console skills I prefer guns with extremely low recoil so I might not actually be having the best time with an Ace 23 on console but uh, if you got your recoil controlled down then I would highly recommend an Ace 23 and it's certainly not a weapon that requires tons of recoil management it just requires a little bit of recoil management. Oddly enough I haven't really used the Ace 23 that much compared to a lot of other guns in the game so far because I heard I already knew it was one of the best weapons out there. I kind of wanted to hold off on using it, hold off on talking about it like I explained earlier. And I've gotten used to using a good variety of weapons out there. It's very, very attractive to try and use the best gun in the game and really see what you can do when um, you're unrestrained, when you know you're playing at the best possible performance you can be. And that's something that attracts me too. I want to uh, run with the ace 23 and just decimate people but at the same time it's fun to get some good variety in there test out other weapons see how they work out but from a purely competitive standpoint somebody who wants who's obsessed with their stats or somebody who's actually practicing for competitive battlefield play then playing with just one gun like the ace 23 isn't a bad idea in fact uh, when you get really used to it you can maximize your performance the only other areas that you might start to slack in our um, versatility when you switch up to another gun you run out of ammo you have to pick up a different kit you might not be as good with that kit if you're not that experienced with other weapons so if I can leave you guys with a message out there or sort of I guess some advice would be try out the ace 23 you're gonna like it it's a great weapon and once you've sort of gotten the feel for it try and maintain your versatility your variety switch up your guns and play styles it, it's very easy to do well with an ace 23 and play nothing but the ace 23 but again I would only recommend that if you are seriously playing competitively or you're just obsessed with your stats otherwise I'd say have fun try out the other guns in the game as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time this is level cap signing off